Good evening everyone. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm cooking chicken soup for the soul. I find that this soup is really great when you're feeling a little bit under the weather and you need a pick-me-up. I hope you enjoy. Here we have my ingredients. I have two bags of garden spinach. I have some beef stock, some chicken stock, some Olivani extra virgin olive oil. I have a large pot, wooden spoon. I have five large carrots which I have cut into rings about this size. I have five onions which I have chopped and I also have five stalks of celery. These I am going to sweat off in some olive oil. First in is a good glug of olive oil. I've turned the ring on to medium high just so that we can get things going. Put in our onions. And we will begin to sweat those off. I'm also going to get some garlic to put into the pot as well. I have put in two heap teaspoons of ginger and two of garlic. Now I buy these in a jar. I just can't be bothered with doing the peeling and then trying to get them to where I want them. And this is a quick easy alternative. Onions have now been sweated down and I have just added in the celery and I'm now adding in our carrots and I will mix these up and then put the lid on and let them sweat down for about anywhere from 30 minutes to 45 minutes. turn my ring down and just have them ticking over. As you can see they've all sweated down now and it's time to add in. Now I'm going to do one tablespoon of beef stock and three tablespoons of chicken stock. Okay the chicken stock is in here and so is the beef stock. I'm going to mix that around And then what I'm going to do is put in, this is four cups of water that I have boiled from the jug. Always put in hot water to your hot mix. Never put in cold water because you don't want to shock the pot. So that is what I've done here. I've got the kettle on again. I'm going to do another two lots of four, which will bring me up to 12 cups of water. And then I'm just going to let this simmer. And then I'm going to add in about two tablespoons of sugar. Okay, the next step is some chicken. I roasted a whole chicken and I have cut up the white meat and that includes a thigh, two breasts and all the other white meat. So that is going to go into a boiling pot which you can see has been simmering away just nicely. So the next step is the chicken. Right, the chicken has been added and I'm now going to wait until it brings itself back up to the boil. And once it has done that, I'll let it boil for 10 minutes and then I will add my spinach. Okay, that is done. I've just uh, sieved the juices of the chicken and put those juices into the pot as well. So now I'm going to add the spinach. 
these are the containers that I usually put the soup into ready to freeze these are two cup capacity so there we go that's our soup she's all done I'm now going to turn her off and let her cool down well there we are everyone that is my chicken soup thank you to Letty she is the one that has cooked this soup and uh, I have been making it for about four years now and I have not been sick in those four years. It is my winter staple. I fill my freezer with this soup. The last time I made it, I filled my son's freezer and he had it through winter. And it's the first winter he has not got sick. He enjoys it. He has it with crusty bread. Uh, I usually do it with noodles, two minute noodles, um, ramen noodles you can put them in a bowl and then just spoon the soup over the top of the noodles once you've cooked them I swear by it it is nature's penicillin I guess is what I would refer it to I hope you enjoy the thing that I omitted is the one cup of white wine usually when you've sweated down the onion the carrots and the celery you can pop in one cup of white wine. That is entirely up to you. As I don't drink, I don't have extra white wine laying around to put into the soup. The couple of tablespoons of sugar is to cut through any acidic in it. And it actually does actually help to give the soup a nice full body flavor. I love loads of cracked pepper, but I haven't put loads of cracked pepper into it. I tend to do that when I serve it for myself. Other people may want to put something else into theirs. So enjoy. I really enjoyed making this soup for you all, and I hope you enjoy making it and that you find comfort in it in those cold winter nights. Take care and I will see you in our next cook with me which is a crock pot meal. I would like to thank Joan at Joan's Pointed Plate for putting this collab together. I hope everyone will go and check out the channels listed below to see what other soups we have in this collaboration. I'm sure you will find something that will take you through the coming season. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed, like, comment and share if you think someone else out there might enjoy this recipe. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.